Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about the use of bulking agents for the treatment of stress urinary incontinence. In this brief video, I'm going to describe the procedure, I'm going to describe the preoperative preparation, and the results, risks, and complications of use of bulking agents for treating urinary incontinence. What is stress urinary incontinence? That is the loss of urine with coughing and sneezing or any increase in pressure within the abdomen that causes a small squirt of urine to exit the body. It is caused by a loss of support for the urethra. There are a number of treatments that are available for stress urinary incontinence, including Kegel exercises, the use of pessaries, surgical procedures with the insertion of a synthetic or natural material underneath the urethra, or the use of bulking agents which are used to seal the urethra and prevent the loss of urine with coughing, sneezing, or exercise. Bulking agents in the past have made use of collagen. Unfortunately, the collagen was absorbed and the results were only temporary and had to re be repeated several months later. Now we can use synthetic silicone, which is non-degradable and non-absorbable, and it does not move or migrate, meaning that the procedure usually needs to be done only one time. We will request for the procedure that you eat or drink nothing after midnight. It is usually done in an outpatient surgical setting. It is usually done under uh, local anesthesia or IV sedation. The procedure takes about 15 to 20 minutes and most women will go home completely dry. Postoperatively, we will ask you to take antibiotics for approximately two to three days. Usually no pain medication is required after the procedure. And I will ask that you not do any heavy lifting for several weeks after the procedure, as well as no sexual intimacy or douching. The complications of using the urethral bulking agents including slight bleeding after the procedure, possibility of a urinary tract infection, or the procedure may not work. Most people who have the procedure leave home dry without the need for a catheter. However, approximately 1 in 20 will need a catheter that is left in for usually 24 hours. The results of the use of urethral bulking agents are that 40 to 50 percent are significantly improved and 40 percent are completely dry. Approximately 10 percent are unchanged and none of the patients are made any worse by the procedure. In summary, urinary incontinence is a common cause of loss of urine uh, associated with coughing, sneezing, or exercises. There are many treatment options for the treatment of stress urinary incontinence. Urethral bulking agent is just one option. It is a very successful procedure with a very low risk and very few complications. Bottom line, you don't have to depend on depends. If you have any additional questions, please let me hear from you. You can reach me at my office at 504-891-8454 or please go to my website at www.neilbaum.com. Thank you.